and what is up guys i am back here with some um uh, neo galaxy storm here and i am back here with some more phoenix right ace attorney so last time we were basically just talking to maya and we have volunteered to be her lawyer and i think we had to go find something or i think the trial is about to come up soon but anyways, let's get right into this. Turnabout Sisters Day One Investigation from Save Point. All right, now we don't need to examine anything. Um, we talked about that. Grusberg Law Offices. That's right, we're going to go find Grusberg. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Let's go back to the detention center. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. I think we gotta go back now. No, we gotta go back to the Faye and Cola offices. September 6th, Faye and Cole Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Do I, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mis mistake me for Larry? Ah, uh, guess I got the name wrong, Miss. The wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That Butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were... Detective Gumshoe. Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right, and don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. <laughs> what was that, Gumshoe? Be right there. Um, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Ew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Um, did I get Maya's phone back yet? No, I did not. Hmm. Hang on guys, I have to see something really fast, so I'm going to disable the screen and mute everything real fast. All right, sorry about that guys. I had to go answer the phone because my phone is trolling and people are calling. So anyways, we're going to present um, Maya's note, Maya's memo to him, so he can get back her phone. Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. 
I tell him why I want the phone, there's no way he'll give it to me. Oh no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Uh, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive, you're quite a detective. Uh-huh, ooh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call re records in there, after all. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. That's gumshoe for ya. Alright, so we're going to... Talk? Mia? About Miss Faye. Did you get an autopsy? Hmm, you want to know the results, huh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright, you can see the report, but that's all. Alright, we got our autopsy report. What about Maya? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means. You're being a lawyer and all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your loyal, lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgot about her. Witness? Yeah, Miss April May. April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then? Aha, you're trying your loyalty ways tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should've known better than to try and get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Alright, Edgeworth. We already know who Edgeworth is. He's pretty much Phoenix's rival slash childhood friend sort of guy. That is, if you played the Ace Attorney series. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this, on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. So yeah, now that that's done, we're gonna go back to... We're gonna go to the Gatewater Hotel to speak with Miss May. After all, Gumshoe did give us info on her, after all. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let's, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of a beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Okay, we obviously gotta examine this here. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't pry around in some 
other people's rooms. Well, not want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. What you witnessed? Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Or you know that thing that her, um, happened the other day, the bad thing. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please. Let me see, um, well, dream on. Miss May. Um, could you just could you just who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Oh boy. This room? I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Yeah, this pretty much is pointless conversation. Nothing really too big just for he's and her house. Why don't you go look for clues? In the garbage? We don't need to present anything to her because we have to come back here anyway, so we're just going to move back. I think we have to either go back to the detention center or Gooseberg Law Offices. Hmm, seems like Mr. Gooseberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard... Aha, so you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? That badge on your collar! Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something to matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grusberg, did you not? Well, here I am. My boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Uh, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm, what a strange reaction. A uh, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How'd you know the trial was tomorrow? Huh? <clears throat> anyway. I'm afraid it's not entirely po impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end the discussion. It's entirely possible. I said, uh, not entirely. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please tell me why won't you take the case? Hmm, I am. Well, you see, it's just I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Hmm. <clears throat> think not. Uh, did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Well, I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you.
Yeah, I'm just gonna save the actual talking for the case itself. I don't think I have to present anything to him, so let's go back to Maya. Because I forgot to show her the phone. Oh, you're back. Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help. I see. I've been abandoned then. Alright, let's go present this to her. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Your family? What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she can still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... he he ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her all by herself on that mountain. Your mother's enemy. So, who was this man who, um... I want your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone's talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police co convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name, my sister told me. White. Hmm, just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why, well... No one else is, is as sad as a person without any friends. I know I've been there a long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I want to ban you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Sniff. Well. Let's fight this one and get you out of here. We're right, thank you. Ooh, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You're innocent, right? Yes, and I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? 
there's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got off the fence in. There has to be something in there. Speaking of which, I forgot to go back and check. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I was just come to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, er, uh, facilities? If you have no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, oh, I almost forgot! Ah! You came back quick! Yeah. Dang, my phone. Damn. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. Wright of Blue Corp won't phone. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. Everything's getting put together now, man. Why was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother? Could it be a coincidence? I think not, obviously. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A uh, wire tape. Wire tap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. You don't say! She's only a pink-haired big boob lady. <laughs> um, <clears throat> why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Uh, wait, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, Phoenix. <laughs> oh, Bellboy, still there? Uh oh, time to scram! I look forward to tangling with you, Miss Tomorrow, Miss May. In court. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the first part of this chapter. So yeah, in the next episode, we will be taking on the case now, or then. So. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you have enjoyed, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will be sure to upload more often and such, because I've been busy with stuff, and I will see you guys next time, and peace.